hey community running after my backlog uh, i found a request from a few people on doing a session on sap so what i would like to do in the next couple of days um, publish a few videos around it but just this is the first one uh, to provide a better understanding how to get started with working with SAP. Of course, you need to understand the SAP environment, the way SAP is working, especially in the ECC world. You need to understand the different transactions and you have to have a bit of knowledge for BAPI as well, uh, RFCs. Um, but still, you can work around it. There are different tools provided from SAP, which you can use. And we are going to see here an example where we are going to create a simple order via BAPI. And then we are going to do the same with um, MuleSoft using the connector. So let's see in SAP what we want to do. First of all, we want to create a sales order. And in order to create a sales order, you need to execute the VA01 transaction. And then you are in this uh, screen where you can enter here then the doc type let's say ta for standard order and then you have other uh, parameters you can fill in as well so let me just fill in few here and make sure we have everything ready so this is now the order entry screen i can enter the material let's say it's mule test zero quantity is one what do we have here we need uh, Sold to party, let's say it's the same customer. PO number, let's say we say 999, this should be it. And the date, we can say it is today. Let's see if all is good. This is also fine, just press enter again. And most probably that is it. Let me try to save it again. I can, this is fine. So now let me save it. And we should have a new order number here. You can see it has been created through the UI. Now I want to do the same using the backend uh, or APIs or BAPIs. And um, if you want to work with BAPIs and you don't know what is the right BAPI to create the VA01 transaction or use uh, it for the create sales order, um, there is a new on, there's a transaction available in SAP called BAPI. And when you enter it, it will give you across all modules uh, the possibility to explore the BAPIs. Yeah? So we are in the sales order creation. We are in the sales and distribution module. So you can see it should be somewhere here. Where is it? Sales and distribution is here. And it is a sales function. I want to create a new order. And it's one of the let's say basic functions no unfortunately it's here it is sales order so this one is it let's go in and in the sales order i can then see i would like to create a sales order um, via form so here we have two one is highlighted to stop so this you cannot use anymore so i suggest we use this create form dot two this is what we are going to use. So let me open it here and see what is the BAPI behind it. So this is the BAPI now, which we are going to use in order to create a sales order. Yeah. So now let's go into the BAPI execution, which you can do with the SE37. Sorry. Let's go SE37. And whenever you are working with BAPI um, and you want to create objects, it is suggested that you create a sequence uh, of your uh, of your test so what i will be doing is i will create here a test sequence you can do it from menu function module execute test sequence because this is your uh, transaction you want to do but you cannot use this transaction without committing your work and the work need to be committed especially when you want to create items so this is done via barpy transaction underscore commit i think this is the transaction and now you can say this is what you want to use and now you are guided not really guided but you have here all the structures available to create a sales order 
we have seen it before so what i will provide just this minimum information in order to create a standard order so let's go here into the order header and it's for me it's super difficult to work with this uh, table so what i always do is i go single entry and in the single entry now i can provide the parameter so i would like to use the ta as the standard order sales org should be 3000 this channel is 10 this is 00, zero. sales group we don't need sales org as well not we have here then on the bottom let me check what else do i need i need to have the purchase number let me see where is it purchase number purchase number here you go and here we enter just one nine one nine one nine same we do for the other purchase number field one nine one nine one nine and the date of course this is the format you can provide here like this that should be fine so that's your order entry in the BAPI the next one is to focus on the order items you want to insert and as an order item I have of course the material number so first of all this is line one and the material is mule test zero it's already here what else do i need i need the plant where is the plant is here it should be 3000 as well as the target quantity this is come on this is one this is fine and as you have seen we have also provided uh, parameters about the uh, sold to party and ship to party which can be here as well let me first go here in the order schedule we need to have here as well an entry uh, for the item number i need to fix this as well so item number is one and the target required quantity is also one of the item number so this will be then scheduled and last will be the partners and the partners is about the sold to party so i can say uh, the sold to party is we as a code and the number should be this one this is fine and ship to party you can also insert by using the new line a new line is entered directly uh, after the first line so here i will do the same but with a different uh, code ag is for ship to party and this is then my uh, number of the customer is the same and finally i think that's it now i can continue to execute the transaction you see i receive here a number and this is now important this number is not immediately available so it's the number let's go and search for it we go here into this one and we should have the number it is seven five two six five seven five two six five if i press enter you see it's not available yeah because in my uh, sequence i've not yet executed the test uh, the commit sequence so i need to go back after the execution and now this commit sequence will be executed which i can just go and hit on execute and that's done and if i go back and look for my order now you see i should be able to see it here so and that's how you can try out what you need to have uh, in sap in order to create objects uh, for it and now transforming this what we have seen now in the BAPI explorer and se37 into mule this is super easy i've already prepared this project i have sap already configured so no need uh, to invest time there so you need to have a valid of course sap connection and then you can just start with the transform message because i'm going to submit a, a srfc and let me drop it here you go and in the srfc i can you see the connection is selected already 
Now what I need to do is I need to define what is my bar P I want to call. And my bar P name is, I think it was here, sales order, uh, create form two, this one. And the moment I select it, I can also at the end just transform the message into JSON. It's fetching the metadata. This can take a bit. But now you can see transform message, drag and drop. And here I will just take the whole payload and bring it into JSON. So we have this covered. And now finally I can start working with this one. So we remember we have selected the order entry. So first of all, doc type. My doc type was TA. Oops. Was TA for standard order. After this, I selected the sales org, distribution channel, division. What else did I have? Purchase date and purchase order number so let's enter here the values so this is 3000 we have division was 10 this is 00, zero. the purchase order number is uh, no this is the wrong one sorry my mistake i think i need these two so this was the wrong one so this one and this one, and the date is also the wrong one. How do I know it was the wrong one? Because when I go back here into my BAPI, I can see what the right one were. So let me just save it here, sales order. And if I go into this one, you can see the fields directly the test and execute where is it here yeah this is fine and here you can see all the different fields which i filled in and those are uh, listed here so actually the same applies to the mule fields you have to fill fill in in mule and this is actually here so let me just do that and i will return with the whole payload so we can try it out so I've now entered all the different values and this is how my app looks like. And you remember this bar P transactions commit, which we have done in the SE 37 in SAP. This is also something we need to have here, but we have a different uh, components we are going to use in order to commit your work, especially creating objects. You need to add a try and put your creating RFC call in the try. And the try configuration should always do the always begin. And that would mean you are committing also the work you have done in this transaction. So let's start it and see if this is creating an order for me. So let me just save it here and get, of course, the listener endpoint. So it's VA01. Let me go into Postman and enter here. So it doesn't matter, I have now not configured this, but we can go with this one and say VA01, is it? And I'm not passing any parameters for now, this should be completely fine. Or let me check, maybe I planned to do it. Let me quickly check on the transformation component. Do we have anything? No, it's all static. So there's nothing I'm passing. Uh, let me check if the app is started, not yet. Still working. So now the app is deployed and let's hit it now. It should hopefully create an order number for me in SAP. So let's see. Um, we can go here on the bottom and I see here this order number has been created. Let's quickly check in SAP. If this is the case, let me go here. We enter this one, press enter, and here you go. This is how you have created the order. So for any case, 
whichever module you are using, I suggest you always start with the BAPI Explorer. Get the right BAPI for you. Um, find it out by just by browsing through the different modules in SAP and selecting the right BAPI and try it out also first in SAP because this will make so many configuration easier for you later on in Mule because then you just have to fill in the right fields and select the right BAPI in order to create the objects in SAP. Okay, that was it from my side. Thanks a lot.